Since a lot of you liked my video regarding the best streaming settings for TikTok Live Studio, I wanted to make another video for people that are streaming on OBS. So this video will be on the best OBS settings for TikTok Live Streaming. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. So if you don't already know, you can actually use OBS to stream on TikTok. It is a little bit more complicated than using the TikTok Live Studio, but it is achievable. You might be wondering, but how do you get the stream key? Well, the current way to get the stream key is by contacting the TikTok Live agency. There are a bunch of them and they're usually divided by the region. So if you're from the US or specific EU countries, Google the TikTok Live agency, find one. They're totally free to join. Check them out and they will be able to give you the TikTok stream key. So once you do get the stream key, all you need to do is go to OBS Studio and then go to settings. Once you do that, you can go to the stream tab over here and then just switch the service from Twitch or whatever it is to custom over here. And then once you do custom, you will see the server and the stream key. So whatever the agency gives you, put in the server over here and then the stream key as well in the bottom. Once you do that, you have the stream key set up and now you can go in and change the settings. So for the settings, what we want to do is we want to go to video over here first and change the output scaled resolution. So base resolution should be your monitor resolution. If it's 1440p or 1080p or whatever, make sure it's set up to that uh, resolution right over here. And then for the output resolution, you should be using the nine by 16 ratio, which is basically this number in the first place and this number in the second place. So just switch it up. So if it's 1080p, which is 1920 by 1080, basically you're using 1080 by 1920. Or if it's 2K, you're using 1440 by 2560. So just switch these numbers up. You can write them manually or you can choose them from this drop down menu right over here. The resolution that I recommend to choose on output is definitely 720p. You don't want to stream more than that, especially not on TikTok. It's just no point. You will just bottleneck your PC for no reason and the viewers won't even notice it on their phones. So make sure to do 1280 by 720. But if you're doing vertical, you're going to do 720 by 1280. So choose that resolution and that's going to use 9 by 16 ratio, which is basically vertical streaming that you want to do for TikTok. Once you do that, for the downscale filter, you want to use Bicubic, or if you have a better PC, you can use Lanxos. I think that's how you say it. Basically, you'll see it right over there in the drop down menu. And then the common FPS values, you want to use either 60 if you're gaming or 30 if you're just chatting and there's not too much movement. So I definitely recommend that. And once you have that set up, you can go to output over here so we can actually change some settings on this tab. But before we get into these settings, if you haven't watched my previous video where I showed you how to install the vertical plugin for OBS, so you can basically have two canvases inside OBS, which is two screens. So you can have one horizontal and one vertical. You can go and install that vertical plugin and then stream using only the vertical canvas to TikTok and then use the horizontal canvas for Twitch, YouTube, Kick or whatever other platform just in one OBS. You don't have to use multiple instances or anything else. It is so simple. Let's go into the output settings. So over here, we have a bunch of different things to change. First thing what we want to do is go to the output mode and change this to advanced. It will be basic, change it to advanced. So we have more things to change and more things to adjust. So audio encoder, this should be defaulted to FFmpeg AAC. If it isn't, make sure to set that up. The video encoder is one of the most important things. If you do have an NVIDIA GPU, I definitely recommend using NVENC as that's very, very good for your PC resources. It doesn't hurt your performance and you will get a lot of FPS and your stream won't lag. If you do have like a bit of an older GPU or you don't even have a GPU, make sure to use your CPU, which is X264. Or if you have AMD, it is going to be something similar to that. So enable that. But if you do have a GPU, definitely use NVENC that will just be much better and you won't suffer from too much of the performance issue. So rescale output, you don't want to touch that at all because we already set it up in the video tab. Rate control, best rate control for streaming is CBR. So if you don't have that set up, make sure to have it set up over here. The bit rate. So if you are streaming on TikTok, which you already are, make sure to go no more than 4000 bit rate. Like I said in the previous videos, there is just no point to stream at like 720p and more than 4000 bit rate. Everyone is watching on the phone. Usually they won't notice the difference between 4K or anything like 10K or 8K, whatever. Right. They won't really notice it, but your PC definitely will or your Internet. So don't go above that. If you have 
upload around you know five or so then you can do 3500 make sure to use 80 percent for your stream and then 20 percent of your upload for anything else if you want to check your speed test go to speedtest.net run the speed test and then whatever the number is that's basically what the bit rate you should use so if you have 10 upload that's 10,000 bit rate use 80 percent of it for streaming 20 percent for the games or anything else but don't go above 4,000. There's just no point. Even though like I have gigabit, I can run, you know, like 100,000 if I want to. There's just no point for that. So keyframe interval, you can leave this on zero. And then preset, you can run P5, which is the slow preset. This is for NVIDIA NVENC. The presets are different if you're using X264. I'll go over them in just a second. But this is if you're using NVENC, you can go with like slow that's the you know good quality if you have a really beast of a gpu you can run slowest that's the best quality or you can if you have a lower gpu you can just uh, run you know like medium fast or keep going up until your stream doesn't lag so if you have any issues just change the presets and change the bitrate obviously if your internet's struggling to just go one level above and then see what works for you and where the lag kind of stops if you are using x264 then you'll have different presets ranging from like super fast to the slowest slowest being the best quality and like super fast being the worst quality but not using too many resources so again go somewhere around very fast fast and if you have a better pc you can go lower than that but i don't recommend going like slow or medium because that's already overkill for the mobile stream right for tiktok streaming there's just no point very fast even above that is highly recommended. So multi-pass mode, single pass is definitely, you know, enough. You don't want to do anything about that. Uh, I did miss the tuning. So tuning, you can do high quality. If you have a decent GPU, it shouldn't, you know, matter at all. If you are having issues, you can lower this down to low latency or even ultra low latency. But I never had any issues. So I don't think this really changes too much stuff like the presets do. Uh, the multi-pass, like we did say, single pass over here, profile should be high. And then look ahead, not turned on, but psychovisual tuning should be checked over here. And then GPU, you're going to use zero because you have only one GPU. So that's basically set to the, to the you know default one. And then max B frames should be set to two B frames. And that's basically it. That's what you need to change to have the best possible quality for your TikTok live stream. And then if you want to change the audio settings, you go to audio. And then over here, sample rate, you change it to 48 kilohertz, which is the best sample rate for audio right now. Desktop audio, you choose your you know default device. And then mic, you choose your microphone. And then that's it. That You don't need to change anything else. Everything else is just like, you know, optional. And for TikTok, you don't need to change anything other than these settings that I showed you today. One main thing that I forgot to mention is that you should always run OBS as an admin. A lot of people have issues with the game capture not working or just overall issues within OBS. So make sure to always run it as an admin. You will fix 90% of the issues using that. And that's basically it. If you guys did like the video, make sure to drop the like. It would mean the world if you don't already know. I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. If you want to see more of my TikTok live studio guides and live streaming guides, check this video right over here. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye bye.